Hello, welcome to this video of Tornado Free English tutorial. Today is going to be about uh, Coastal Village and Crash Side. I'm going to do two, those two levels because they are really short and not too hard. So let's go. So, first of all, when you're picking up the artifact of City, you want to spam the action of the Hunter key because you don't need to select anything on the globe anymore. So, what you need to do first in this level is swim like this, like I just did. This is really important. You want to swim forward and stay in this uh, line of square here. So there is a simple reason to that, is that we need to have a certain current value for uh, a trick. Well, it's not a trick, but yeah, it's a trick. Never mind. For a trick and a sequence with kayak in Madubu, which is in two levels. And in order to do that, we need to take this path to not get affected by the current at the start of the level. So I will explain way more in detail in my dubu, but this is basically why you need to swim forward, or just swim forward. You don't have especially to swim exactly forward, you can go and beat on the side like this, as long as you stay in your square here, and then you try to take a corner to not lose too much time. So that's it. And then you go here, you try to emerge as best as you can. This is really detailed, so I'm not going to enter into it. Draw a flare when you emerge, because you're going to need to cancel something. And then you have a couple of choice. You can just do like this, which is the best sequence, almost actually, but this is pretty close to it. So what you need to do is you need to aim here, up, and then turn right at the right time. Do a dive roll, grab and flare cancel. So why do you want to dive roll? The reason is, if you don't dive roll, you diving roll recovers stamina. And if you don't dive roll, you will have to wait one or two seconds until the stamina is full again after the drop. So it saves a bit of time. But if you can't do it, you can just do something like that. It, it's no problem, just losing one, two seconds, max doing a jump like this. But if you do um, a dive roll, up, like this, oops, well not like this, but almost like this. Up, like this, you will be able to sprint immediately as you can see. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you can do that, just, if you don't feel comfortable sprinting, you can just do that. Don't worry about the health loss, it can be m minimal, it can be really large, but it doesn't matter really for this level. So then you sprint there, and you're gonna prepare for the first skip of this level. So you sprint however you want, as long as you have uh, sprinting remaining a lot until this spot here. And you're gonna do this trick. Up. So that is this trick. So that's called a quick sandbag. So that roughly what's happening is that Lara is going really fast. She's sprinting, and she's entering the quicksand. But because she has a lot of momentum when she's against the, um, this platform here, I'm gonna show you. Up. But because she's in quicksand, but she still has a lot of speed, and because of that, what's happening is that you will climb normally like this, this this block. But because you have stamina, Lara keeps going forward even when climbing for some reason. So this is technical tease, but that's how it works. So you want to have the m you want to have speed when you reach that thing. So that that's basically how it works. And then you glitch up over there on this bridge. So that's how it works. So to do that, you have a couple of ways. So you have a yellow way like I just did, which is uh, simply uh, just sprinting there, trying to take. Well, it won't work here, I believe. Yeah. So I'm kill that guy. Sorry. Up. So here it didn't work because I entering I entered in the in the sand here, and because of that, it took time to reach the block. So she lost speed. So because you I didn't have enough speed, I didn't manage to get to the block itself. So you want to kind of arrive like this, up like this. You want to do something like this by, why we, ah, one, two, three, by sprinting. So you want to arrive like this, up, but you need to sprint. So this is 
something you need to get used to because you need to get comfortable with sp with sprints obviously and if you're not you you will ever have to practice or you will have to do the backup strat which is completely okay and pretty pretty quick as well so just you need to arrive like this up you need to grab so i can't give you too much detail about that because this is pretty much a feeling stuff you need to you need to really practice your angle when you curve with a sprint because this is the key to a good position so the key is to just turn at the right time and then it's just grabbing and being close so you, you don't have to do anything once you're in the sand except pressing forward and uh, and uh, action you just need to practice your curving like this and you will do it every time if you're good at it so this is really something um, that you will have trouble when you start you will miss it a lot but once you get the hang of it you, it will be easy so personally my sequence if i remember right i haven't played that for a long time is this one i do up one two three four die roll up one two three four five six and then i just sprint i think actually no no never mind okay no that wasn't that okay i remember now <coughs> that was my old method that was hmm, relatively bad i had to i don't know with big success with it up so my sequence is i do the, i do up one two three four five six seven eight die roll jump and then you sprint and you have full stamina and you can do it like this up and this works every time if you're good at sprinting so if you don't get it you have two well or if you don't want to do it the yellow way like this you have two ways so there, uh, there is another way so first way is for example you do something bad and you miss like this or whatever or you climb like this and you don't make the glitch what you just do to recover you just you um you roll like this do a running jump oops don't do that sorry <coughs> i'm gonna redo it so that's happen if you press um action to quick in the quicksand so you just roll do a running jump just wait a seconds to climb roll again and do do it like this and do a running jump and just grab in the air and you will make it every time <coughs> so this is the recovery and this recovery can be used as a stretch for beginners you can just go here for example oops be careful to not do to not get into the sand here if you do so what you can just do is you can just up when you arrive here you sprint here jump here roll running jump and grab and you'll make it every time and when you finish the glitch you roll and that's pretty much it for that skip so we're gonna go further because i don't have anything to say about that more so then you sprint to this bridge don't dive roll here because you'll get stumbled to this step every time and then you want to avoid being sliced like this so what i personally do is i stay on the right side here and i jump a bit early so i'm gonna show you what i do up you sprint and then you reach and oops and once you climb that step it's one two three four and you jump and you take barely damages so be careful about that if you really want to climb because the other solution will be to crouch and this is pretty slow and you don't really you really don't want to be hit too much by this thing because it really drains your health so be careful about that don't really have anything to say too much about it so one two three four try to stay on the right because if you are on the left you have more chances of being slight uh, let me think about something uh, up, let's say you arrive here up if you arrive here you can also wait for it to be here and just jump that, that's also an option if you're really not comfortable with that place so if you really want to be sure just up go here go here up wait for it to be here and then jump 
you don't want to wait here for example because the problem is there is a guy spawning and he might annoy you so be sure to be on the very last block before the corner and that's pretty much it so then you'll have a save glitch um a save load glitch coming which is really simple this is the first one i think of a game so you just pick up that med and those spikes you can't go there because the spikes are here but if you pick up the med but if you uh if you go on that if you save there and you reload the game the map is flipped again and the spikes aren't here anymore so this is a way to get rid of it if you don't want to save on our purist or whatever you can go push the button there it's slightly slower Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and then there is, oops, there is another skip. So there is slightly faster way to do um, to do um, this part. You don't want to go forward like this. What you can do is you can just roll immediately and do a twist here and jump again. It saves a couple of frames. And then you do a running jump there. Grab if you want. There is a chance you get um, you get poisoned, but don't worry, it, it don't heal. It's it's not necessary. And then you get your best sequence, and you get sprint, best sprinting sequence as good as you can, and you go there. This is really pure sprinting, so I'm not going to enter into details of that. And we need to go on that bridge here. To do that, it's pretty easy. And like really easy just a bit random to, if you get it fast or not so you need to do a corner bug except that when you're you, when you're glitching up you want to press action so you fall like this and then you roll and you get into this flicker motion and you're moving forward until the end and get to a bridge so here i got lucky i got a very very fast flicker actually but it can happen that you get a really slow one i'm gonna try to get it so what I personally do to be sure to get the flicker, good flicker, really um, easy and consistently. So here you can see this is slightly slower than the one I got. But there are actually way slower flicker than that. And depending on the flicker you are, you have, you can lose or save 15 or 20 seconds easily. So that, that's why it's important being used to getting a fast flicker. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea about the reason you get a fast or a slow flicker. I'm just gonna give you my way of doing it so you don't uh, you don't get slow flicker too often. And because my way, I never got really slow flicker with my way, so yeah. So you just roughly want to go here. This is important. And it doesn't have to be exactly there but as long as you need one crotch to get the corner bug and it's it's good don't don't worry if you have to do something like this for example up this is not good because then you'll have this kind of flicker which is really awful she's i'm not even sure she's moving forward but yeah that, that's basically come on fall please so you want to be close to the corner not too much because obviously if you are too much that will happen maybe i spawned the guy no i didn't okay so basically you want to be here turn roughly 45 degree you need to be close to 45 if you want to get a good flicker i genuinely notice that and then you crouch and you crouch forward and you go forward a bit it's important to go forward and be really in that really in bed like this and then you get up and you press uh, action and you immediately roll you can even roll me there and you get those kind of flicker every time come on so this is really easy but this is how you do up 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 and you get those kind of flicker so this one is one of the slowest you can get generally generally you get slightly faster than that so yeah that's pretty much it up 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 and get it 
so yeah, this is this kind of flicker you can get. If you are a slow flicker and you want to, to, to be a bit faster, you can just press, um, I think it's right forward and right to uh, turn a bit in the world, but I don't recommend that because you can be pushed out if you get the wrong angle. So it's really if you get a slow flicker. And if you get a really, really slow flicker like I just did before, the best way is to get out of the wall and try again. It will be it will be quicker to redo the glitch with a good flicker than having a really, really slow one. And that's pretty much it for that glitch. This is really easy, so you shouldn't have any trouble with that if you're following the, what I just did. And then you wait. And you can wait until she reached the bridge, or you can press roll from this spot, for example. If you, uh, oh, actually, from this spot didn't work, but... B before she get out of a wall, just before it, you can save half seconds or something if you roll a bit early. Oop. Come on, Nara. If you roll here, you can save a bit. Uh, you can save half second doing that. So that's that's pretty okay. But if you want to be sure, don't worry. You can just keep going. Um, one, one last thing, yeah, one of his last thing, which is really important, not from speedrun point of view, from headache point of view. So the, the screen is shaking, as you can see. And some people might have headaches or trouble looking at the screen because of reasons. If you want to avoid that screen being shaky, just draw your guns and the, the screen won't be shaky anymore. So it will be completely bearable like this and then you roll and you're pretty much done so sorry for <laughs> all the way through if you got an egg it's my fault and then you have two choice of finishing the level you can just sprint there do a running jump and grab like this and climb and finish the level or you don't you can avoid climbing and do something like this up and directly land in the end without climbing so this jump can be really tricky, so I don't recommend it for a beginner. You basically want to jump from, up, oh, not here. You want to do a running jump from, from roughly this spot here. So if you do a running jump from this spot, you will make it. The problem is if you jumping too early, you won't make it. Well, the advantage of jumping early, for example, if you jump from here, well. Well, never mind. This is not an advantage. So if you jump too early, I thought you could grab, but no. If you jump too early, that will happen. And if you jump too late and you don't do anything, you will get stumble there and fall and have to redo the glitch. So, yeah, just just be careful about that. If you jump too late, what you can do, if you see that you jump too late, you can just grab and finish the level as well. So just be careful if you want to do that jump. Oops, oops. So what I generally do is I just roll from the glitch and then I just do a quick sprinting and I jump and it works, but do as you want. And that's it for Coastal Village. So now let's go with Crash Side, which is gonna be real quick because there is one trick and that's it. So first you wanna get out of this. So this is important that you jump really late here and you jump nicely like this. And then you grab and you will be close to this, uh, whatever they are called in English. It's called Nenufar in French, but I am not think it's in English, whatever. But those platforms you need and you need to jump there, grab, and you will be able to climb almost immediately on them. Just be careful, I recommend delaying for a frame or two uh, climbing. One simple reason is that you can get a quick sandbug with a forward momentum or whatever. And if you get the quicksand bug and you glitch here, you end up here, it's reprun, you can't recover from that. So be careful. So yeah, you just go over, up, jump, take that direction, grab, and climb here. And then you're gonna go to this next uh, platform and you're gonna do one, two, three, up, and you can, yeah. So that's what I wanted to show you. That can also happen there. So that's why you don't want to pr press 
action you right when you hit the platform because this will happen and you can't recover so what you want to do is you just do your jump now it's good and you can climb so depending of how good you did your jump and how fast you press action you will be you will have a long or a short climbing animation it really depends on your ability whatever you can do like this and climb if you do two if you do two steps before jumping if you just jump immediately you will get this slow one but if you do one two three up you will have a slow one so here i was bad but whatever this is important to emerge to climb on the left of this platform because the next sequence the fastest sequence require you to be there so that's that's why i'm actually going a bit left like this so if you are if you want the best sequence i'm going to show it to you so best sequence is this one it's pretty much um yoloing everything so there is no stopping it's just you curve you curve right here as much as you can then you when you land you curve left as much as you can you do it again here and then you go to a platform and you curve right as much as you can again but you can't do it if you emerge on the right because if you emerge on the right you will uh, fall on the first uh, platform let me try up like this up oh, well actually here it works for some reason but this is way way less permissive and if you don't feel comfortable when you emerge you can just go here like this jump to that one here up uh, then jump to that one here like this then uh, jump to that one here and step back jump again on this one so this is the slow way if you want to be sure and you're starting and you're not good at platforming but why are you playing tomb raider if whatever <laughs> so yeah so you just press forward and right and forward and left forward and left again up jump again forward and then forward and right so I'm not going to talk too much detail for that, just showing you what's possible or not, because that's really pure platforming. And then you want to keep going. I personally sprint and dive roll immediately. Uh, not immediately, actually. I delay. So what I do is actually one, two, three, and I dive roll. So I avoid uh, sliding down that slope, and it's the fastest way of doing it. Up, so one, two, three, up. Then I do a jump, and I do another jump, and I won't stumble here. I saw people stumbling a lot there. If you do this sequence I just did, you will never stumble. <coughs> so up, one, two, three. Oops, what did one, two? Yeah, so it didn't work. Then you do a jump, and you do a jump, and for example here, I might stumble. No. If you, tr if you try to stick on the right, it's a bit higher, so you will get less chance of stumble. But yeah. One, two, three, up, jump, jump, and you can keep going. Sprint a bit here, jump again here, jump here, jump here. So again, it's pure platforming, so here it's going to fail. Up, up, well, yeah, I think, I think it's because I already have a step, but it should be free, but three seems it's three steps from uh when you land but because i saved before landing no when i load i have one step less i think so that's the reason anyway one two three up jump you can pull a flare because you're gonna need a flare cancel another jump here sprint a bit up, jump here and for the next one is you you want to land on the right of this platform to jump here and be able to do a standing jump there so this is important to land on the right so you can do this and then you sprint there you grab and you flare cancel and you're pretty much good to go so that's really pure platforming so i can't really tell you much more about that and this with this will go with some practice and then you want to do the sequence you want here i, I think everyone has a different sequence because this place to sprint is really bad so yeah do the one that suits you the best and you stumble the less 
and go there and prepare to skip crash site completely. So how to do that? Oh, I was on the wrong platform actually. You want to land, uh, oh actually no it will work, sorry. So what you want to aim to do the setup there, you want to be there. Up. So you can either aim at this slope and slide down here, or you can just up. you can just grab. Oops, come on. It's because I stopped. Yeah, it's because I stopped. So grab. you can just jump like this, grab and avoid the uh, um, sliding down animation. Anyway, what you need to do is you need to do roughly here. It doesn't matter if you are here or if you are here. As long as you're not here, because if you are here, you will slide down like this, obviously. So you just you just want to drop down. So um, just want to drop down. So Lara actually land on the lower part here on the flat ground, and she's a bit pushed by the wall like this. Then you have a perfect spot. If you have too if you are too much to the right, whatever. If you are too much to the right. If you are too much to the right like this, you won't be pushed and you won't get the good spot. So you, you really want to be close without eating the slope. So this is the start of the setup for the skip. Up, just grab here. And if you're, for example, like here, I it would have worked, but to, to be sure, I prefer being here personally. So then you drop like this. And then you're gonna do some inputs. So what are the inputs? They are pretty simple. You just uh, crouch. Turn 45 degree like this. Do a running jump. It's important to do a run. Uh, actually, never mind. I forgot about something. <laughs> actually, forgot about something. You sidestep right, then crouch to the right 45 degree like this. Step up and do a running jump. If you don't do a running jump, you will slide down this slope here. That's why you do a running jump. So yeah, and something important I noticed is you have to do it quickly. You have to do the sequence quickly, like I, exactly for the same reasons I, as I just said in uh, Nevada for the dead skip. If you don't do it fast, there are chances that the glitch won't work. So just if you perform the sequence quickly, it will never happen. So just sidestep. Crouch quickly, 45 degree, step up, jump, and then you can sprint and prepare a, um, a flare to this place and obviously start holding walk close to the edge so you stop, because if you don't stop, this is not good. You can do the glitch while sprinting all the way through, but it's you need to roll at the right time, and I don't recommend that when you start, say like 0.2 or something. So yeah. So you will be in this position, and then what you're going to do is you're going to roll off the edge like this, and you're gonna immediately grab up like this, and you will do what we call a flying corner bug. But that's not all, because if you just do the flying corner bug, you will be here and you will slide down. So what you do is you roll, you press grab immediately, and you hold roll immediately after. You don't need to, you, you don't want to hold the action button to grab. You want to press grab so she grabs, and then you switch to roll again. So you roll, tap it, and roll again, and you will make it every time. And this is how you skip the whole crash side. Up. And you do a flat cancel here, and you can sprint or dive roll or do whatever you want until the end. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to redo the whole thing. Oop, 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 oop. We don't want extra glitch error. We're going to redo the whole thing here. Up. So you fall up. Actually, the whole thing. So up. Jump there. Slide down. Up. Here, it's good. Position is good. Sidestep. Crouch. Turn 45 degree quickly. Running jump and then sprints, then walk close to the edge, roll, tap, roll, uh, tap, <laughs> grab, sorry, roll, grab, roll, 
and then you make it. So this is pretty easy. And that's pretty much it for crash side. So one thing you need to know, <laughs> because it happened to me, because I was that. So those guys are fighting a Raptor, and if you miss it two or three times, because you're bad, because that's what happened to me, there are various chances that after you did the glitch when you do the running jump, someone will get on the way. <laughs> so be careful about that. If that happens, prepare your gun and shoot him before he blocks you. So that's pretty much it. Pretty much it, sorry. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for Crash Side. Uh, do I have something to say more about that? Um, not really. So yeah, you, you can do it. Oops. Well, pfft, well, it would have worked for some reason. Well, that's pretty much it for Crash Side. So you can do it while rolling like this. But you have to know that you can fail it pretty easily. It's a bit faster, but you can feel it. So yeah, that's it for Crash Side. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions or things to say, you can ask in commentary. And yeah, that's it. Next level is going to be Madubu. And see you next time.